Welcome to Artistry Collaborative. My name is Joanne and I'm so glad you joined me today. If you're new to my channel, well, welcome. I hope you like what you see and become a subscriber because I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Here at Artistry Collaborative, we love to inspire creativity in everyone. We're the home of TriLab because all we want you to do is try. Today, we are mixing it up a bit. We're going to do some mixed media. We haven't done this in quite a while. I did use some Dollar Tree items, but today we are going to make this mixed media canvas. It has my favorite quote on it from Sting, let your soul be your pilot. I haven't um, edited this yet, so if it seems a little choppy, because it started out with a whole different concept. We were going to do hot air balloons, and I just wasn't feeling it, and then this came to me. So I hope you come along for the ride, and if you like what you see, please like, share, comment. I want to hear from you. So, as we say, let's create this together. We're going to do this first. This is the canvas. Um, looks like 16 by 24 is 12 and 8 or 20. So 16 by 20. Yeah, 16 by 20. Again, you can use any canvas. You could use a piece of cardboard. You would just have to put gesso down first to seal the, the cardboard because the cardboard would soak up all the mediums that you put on it. And this is from Tim Holtz. This is a tissue paper. I got this at Hobby Lobby, I believe, last year, 75% off because this stuff, you know, $1.7, it's $6.99 normally. Um, and anyway, but if you don't have this, you could tear out pages of magazines, you could use pieces of old maps, because who uses maps anymore? Um, but since, what you want to do is just, you, the thing about mixed media is it you build layers, layer upon layer upon layer. Um, and it just gives it this lovely texture and it makes it interesting. So, let me take a little bit more. Okay. And then I have this from uh, Artist Loft, which is Michael's, and it is um, gloss gel medium. And it's brand new. So, yeah. And I'm just going to squirt some on here. And take one of my brushes. And then just put it around and then take a piece of tissue, put that in there. It doesn't have to be straight. It doesn't have to be anything. It's just building layers because we will add some modeling paste to this. We will um, stencil over this. We will use inks. I mean, this is really playful for me. Um, I, I like to do the sides too, but I mean, you know, someone may buy this and although I think I'm making this for me um, and, you know, want it to be framed. But again, and don't worry about wrinkles. That just adds to the texture. It's all good. I like to put straight edges on the ends because um, it makes it nice and clean. But you don't have to. You don't have to do it. There's no rules. That's what I love about mixed media. There are no rules. So I'm just going to go along and put all this down. And again, it doesn't even have to be maps. If you wanted to put flowers, napkins, um, elements from magazines uh, because a lot of it will be covered with paint and inks and everything else so again play please play because I 
I just love it. I love it. I love it. All right, so I'm going to finish doing this, and I'll be back. So I went into my scrapbooking papers, and I found ones with words, and they're, they all go with this quote, and it's, you know, you're one in a million, singular sensation, be different, be yourself, in a sky full of amazing, of stars, it's amazing to find that each of us is one of a kind. All of that. So I also put that down. Now this has to dry um, completely. And then we will add some texture with some modeling paste. So I picked these three stencils. You don't need three. You really just need one. But, you know, I want clouds. And I love the wind moving. Um... Yeah, so I don't even know if I'm going to use all three, but, um, and I bought this coarse texture gel. It's by Liquitex. Again, you can use the lightweight spackle that Dollar Tree has. That will do it too. Um, just, yeah, use whatever you have. Uh, but you need a... Well, you don't need, but it really makes it a lot easier if you have one of these. Now, Dollar Tree does sell them plastic ones, and I usually use those. Um, I just want to make sure you can see this. And you just spread it. Some people put a little painter's tape to keep the stencil straight. If you have it, I would use it because it can move um, but it's easily rectified if you do move it you can just scrape everything off and start again um, so but you just want to cover and you know if you don't want all the clouds you can just do some of the stencil you don't have to do the whole stencil This is like one of my favorite things to do. I don't know why. I think I love because it's dimensional. You know, it really pops off the canvas. And I really, really like that. Now, see, I don't know if I want that moon there. So I'm probably going to... Now see, I messed it up. So you just scrape it all off. And start again. It's fine. Um... If there's some there. We'll try it again. And I'll avoid that moon. Mixed media is very forgiving because you can cover it up with something else. I mean, it's just... And <clears throat> there's this lady on YouTube called Laurie Marie Jenkins. And I used to watch her. I, don't, I really don't watch her much anymore. But one of the things she talks about is how the layers build up in energy. And I often talk about how I love, you know, selling my stuff because I feel like I'm giving myself you know, sharing my gifts with people. And so, um, but she talks about how the layers build up an energy into the piece. And it does. It takes on a life of its own. It's really kind of amazing. You know, I have an idea of what I'm doing here and what I want the end result to be. But I'm open to what may happen in the meantime. I might be taken in a totally different direction. Now, I do have that quote that my daughter sent me that, you know, that's what I'm trying to build up around. But um, if it doesn't go there, then it wasn't meant to be. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I, I just think this is a beautiful way. Um, if you're depressed, if you don't feel like you got your mojo happening, you know, cut out some magazines, cut out, you know, throw down some of your different arts and crafts and um, 
things that you just wouldn't normally put together and throw it down and see what happens because usually magic happens. Usually magic happens. And who doesn't like a little bit of magic? I mean, the good kind of magic. I don't like fake magic, but I mean magic where it's alchemy. You know, you create something that wasn't there before. So, okay. So there's that one. I don't like that either. I am not doing well today. All right, let's try a different one. I don't know. Well, it's good that you see that I make mistakes because, <laughs> you know, if you get frustrated, if this happens to you, then you know you're not alone. And it's okay. It is not a big deal. It could be the medium I'm using. I don't know. Well, let's see. Let's try this one. haven't been feeling very well. The weather's been fine. It's been very cold, but it's been dry. But yet, oh, my body is in so much pain. So, you know, it could be that. could be my mojo isn't, isn't Jonesen. I don't know. But. And you want to clean your stencils right away. So I will have to get up and wash both these stencils. And again, I don't have to do the whole thing. I can just do bits and pieces. All right, that's a little bit better. It's not great, but it's better. I'm going to go and add some more of this, and um, I'll be back. This is what we ended up with. It's still got to dry more, but I just wanted you to see uh, what's happening here. So I was going to use some spray inks, but then I thought, well, let me, let me try some uh, Distress Oxides, because with Distress Oxides, you can sprinkle it with water, and it, it makes... It distresses it. It's kind of cool. So I took some blues and a pink and I'm just going to go in and just all around just add some color. Really goes very well with the scrapbook paper. Didn't even know that. I just like the colors. So and see and then what you do is you spray some water on it and it it gives it that effect cloudy uh, i love it so i'm going to go in with just a bunch of different colors and just make a pretty sky background i may stencil over it with another um stencil using these i don't know but, um, so that color is Salty Ocean. And a trick that we have, because we have so many, um, we put a Velcro button on the pad in that, and so that is for that particular, and then you need the sponsor. So then I'm gonna get some of this, and this is Victorian Velvet. Don't worry if you know pieces come up. We can we can uh, put 
put them back down or we can put something over it. You know, again, this is a very, very forgiving um, medium. Ooh. All right, so I'm going to just go in with a couple more colors. And this one is uh, jeans, faded jeans. This one is tumbled glass and shabby shutters, although I don't know if I'm going to put any green, but we'll see what happens. Maybe a little bit of yellow. But let me put some of that in, and I'll be back. Okay, so I didn't use the, the green color, but I did find some scattered straw, and I like that. And then I wanted a little bit of teal, so there's this one called Broken China, and I'm just going to put that in there. I will write down the colors that I used in case you want to mimic this, but really, you know, use the colors that speak to you, you know. Um, yeah, this is a really pretty teal. But I also want to spray it with the water, and I want to show you what happens. And I'm going to try to give you a close-up of this. Yeah. All right, and then you take your water, and you just go all over. And it just is so cool. I'm going to take it and see if I can give you a close-up. I'm not sure how well that picks up. Let me shut this light off. But if you can see it distresses it and it gives it water spots and it's just the coolest effect. So I'm gonna let this dry, put all this away and I think I may came by, come back with the stencil. So this canvas has gone through a series of um, changes. Uh, I, I, yeah. We started off with going to do balloons, and now I changed it up completely. I came across these stickers that I bought at Dollar Tree. They are the dragonflies. They're really beautiful. They're like translucent, and there's glitter, and it's just all pretty. So they match the canvas really, really well. And then the challenge was finding the words that I wanted and the, the letters. I tried Scrabble letters. I, 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 you can't use flat letters because um, my daughter suggested the vinyl from the Cricut, but I didn't want to do that. So anyways, this is one of my favorite quotes by Sting. It's, let your soul be your pilot. And I bought these letters from Hobby Lobby, and they just they pick up all the colors in the, the um, canvas. So I do have to write down here sting. I'll probably do that in, in a different lettering. Um, but, you know, if you use a quote, you have to give the quote uh, author their due. Um, but I'm just going to um, glue these down with uh, tacky glue, and that'll be it. Um, I hope you like this. I know it... it's kind of all over the, the place, and, and I apologize for that, but... Um, I haven't done some mixed media, and I, I'm really wanting to do more. So I hope you like this. I hope you um, try it. Uh, maybe not with such a big canvas, but with a smaller canvas. I am going to use the uh, hot air balloons in another project, but it just didn't work for this one. But I want to thank you so much for tuning in, and please, if you haven't become a subscriber, please uh, subscribe and share and like and comment. Um, it just means the world to me. So as we say at Outer Street Collaborative, just keep on creating. And there you go. It took a while to get here, but we did it. And I'm going to give you a close-up.
Thank you and enjoy.